am back again, Amanda, with another video about planning your Disney trip because I know once the parks open, people will start thinking about when they're going to go back. So um, today we're going to talk a little bit about character dining and what that entails and uh, kind of maybe what to look for if you want to plan a couple character meals for your trip. Um, some people really like character meals and if you're wanting to make characters, um, you have to eat. So it's a great way to, uh, kind of combine the two and you're not having to stand in line and you get to meet multiple characters because they'll come around to your table most of the time. So today, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about if you're looking for specific characters, where you can find them. Um, and then at the end, I'll just kind of, kind of tell you a couple of my favorite uh, character meal options. So I do have notes in front of me so I will be looking down um, at these so that way I can remember because there's a there's a lot of character meals. There's a lot of characters, there's a lot of character meals at Disney and I want to make sure I try to cover all of them. Um, and if I miss one, please let me know down in the comments. Um, I think this is pretty up to date but um, you know, every now and then one goes away or one comes in and um, I might have missed it. Or, you know, if you're watching this in the future and new ones have come or some have gone away, then obviously um, I may have to do another one later on. So, uh, starting out with, of course, if you go to Disney, you, you're going to want to meet Mickey Mouse. So, um, I'm going to start with Mickey or and Mickey's friends. So, Donald... Minnie, Daisy, Goofy, Pluto. Any of those. There's different combinations in different... Um, at different meals. Um, you usually, you won't get all six of them at any meal. Um, it's usually a different combination of them at different ones. But um, there's different... Like they'll have different outfits on depending on where you're going. So, first off, I have Garden Grill. Um, I ate there the last time I was at Disney, and it was absolutely fabulous. We went there for breakfast. Um, and at Garden Grill, you're going to see Mickey and Pluto. And Mickey will be in his farmer, his overalls, and his, uh, I guess, button-down plaid shirt. I think that's what he had on. Um, anyway, so... Um, it's Mickey and Pluto and Chip and Dale. So, uh, that's really fun. So, um, so Garden Grill, which is at Epcot in, um, the Land Pavilion. Well, what is right now the Land Pavilion. Um, <laughs> Hollywood and Vine, you can see Mickey and Friends for dinner only. So, um, Garden Grill, they're there all day, but, um, Hollywood and Vine at Hollywood Studios, um, you can see Mickey and Friends at dinner, and then for breakfast, you will see Disney Junior. So, I believe right now that is maybe Vampirina and Fancy Nancy and Goofy, and there's one more, and I'm blanking on what the fourth one is, but it's Disney Junior characters. Um, at Animal Kingdom, you can see Mickey and Friends at Tusker House, and they have their safari outfits on. Um, if you are at, so that's through the parks. If you're at Magic Kingdom, there is not a Mickey-specific character meal. You'll have to hop on the monorail, but you can hop on the monorail and go to the Contemporary to Chef Mickey's, where you will see multiple Mickey, fr Mickey and Friends. And I believe it's, uh, I don't have it listed. Um, I know it's Mickey and Goofy. I want to say it's Donald and Pluto. I want to say it's those four. But I know Mickey's there. Um, and then, or you can go over to the Polynesian, which is another place I like to go, um, to Ohana for breakfast only. Again, Chef Mickey's, Tusker House, they're there all three meals. Um, but Ohana... They're only there for breakfast, and it is Mickey and Pluto and Lilo and Stitch, which is the only character meal that Lilo and Stitch will be at, and the only place that you will find Lilo. Um, usually you can see Stitch at Magic Kingdom in Tomorrowland, but um, Ohana is the only place for breakfast, because it's called the Best Friends Breakfast, that you'll see Lilo. 
Um, another option is Cape May Cafe at the Beach Club, and that is breakfast only. There's a breakfast, a character breakfast there that has Minnie, Donald, Goofy, and Daisy, and they have their beach wear on because it's at the Beach Club. And then the new one for Mickey and Friends is Topolino's Terrace. And that has Mickey and Minnie and Donald and Daisy. Um, and they have, uh, like, I don't want to just say artist because I believe one of them is a dancer. But, um, they have creative outfits on. Um, and that is at the new Riviera Resort. So, if you're at a Skyliner Resort and want to go over there for breakfast only. That was the breakfast only, too. So, a lot of these are breakfast only. But it's a good way to start your morning. And a lot of times these are, for several of these, Garden Grill and Ohana are family style. So they bring it to your table, but it is all you can eat. Um, Hollywood and Vine, Tusker House, Chef Mickey's. And I'm not sure about Cape May. I've never ate there. Um, but anyway, Hollywood and Vine, Tusker House, and Chef Mickey's are all buffets. So you have to get up and go get your food. Um, which then you run the risk of missing a character when they come around because when they come around to your table, they kind of go in a certain order. So that's something to think about too is do you want to order off a menu or do you want family style or do you want buffet? So those are three options um, when you're looking at character dining locations. All right, if you are looking for princesses, you have a few options depending on if you want to see a bunch or if there's a specific one that you're wanting to see. So obviously Cinderella's Royal Table at Magic Kingdom is your prime princess spot. Um, there's usually five, uh, probably four or five princesses in Cinderella's Royal Table. You do have to book in advance um, and you um, have to pay for your meal in advance. So that, that's something you have to be aware of. Um, but everyone should eat there at least once. Uh, another one that has multiple princesses is Akershush. Akershush. <laughs> at um, Epcot. Um, and it usually has four or five princesses there too. Um, and it is in the Norway. It's at Norway. In the World Showcase. Um, you also, if there's specific princesses you want to see, there's a couple other options. And none of these are in a park. They're all at a resort. So the first one is 1900 Park Fair for dinner. Um, you can see Cinderella and her prince and her stepmother and her two stepsisters. So there's five characters there. They are just there for dinner. There's different characters there for breakfast. Um... And I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, another option, if you want to see Snow White, the Evil Queen, Grumpy, and Dopey, they are at Artist Point. It's Storybook Dining at Art Artist Point, which is at Wilderness Lodge. Um, so you can see those four characters there. And the last one I have is Trattoria Al Forno. This is on the boardwalk, which is right outside of Epcot, if you go out of the International Gateway. Um, and you will see Ariel and Eric and Rapunzel and Flynn Rider. So those four characters are there. And that, I believe, is just for breakfast also. Um, I think it's called a bon, the Bon Voyage Breakfast or something like that. Um, so those are some options if there's specific princesses you want to see. Because sometimes at Cinderella's Royal Table and Akershish, the princesses sometimes rotate. So you won't necessarily know which ones are there until you're there. So, um, if there's one of these that you really want to see, um, most of them are less expensive than Cinderella's Royal Table. Um, the other, I've got three others here, um, as options for character meals. The first one is Crystal Palace, which is inside of the Magic Kingdom, and you will have Pooh and Friends, and so it's Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, and Tigger. And it is right as you go down Main Street and you pass uh, the Emporium in Casey's Corner. It's, um, you'll kind of turn right there and it's over there on your left. Um, 
is the, it is a buffet also. Um, 1900 Park Fair, which I mentioned before, and it's at the Grand Floridian. I don't think I mentioned that. For breakfast, you will see usually some combination of um, Alice from Alice in Wonderland and the Mad Hatter, Tigger and Pooh, and Mary Poppins. So, um, that's who's usually there at that breakfast. And the Excuse me. The last one is Be Our Guest for dinner. The Beast will be there. Um, he usually just kind of walks through, but I believe you can have your picture taken with him. Um, and he's the only one that's there. And that is only for dinner. Um, he's not there for breakfast or for lunch. So, if there's any that I missed or any that are your favorites, uh, please leave those in the comments because I'd love to know what to plan for my next trip. Um, if there's one that I haven't tried and I need to. Um, my personal favorites that I like to go to is I, uh, Garden Grill and Ohana are like my top two. I kind of like Garden Grill better almost. I don't know. There's not a lot of difference. It's just Garden Grill has the sticky bun bake, Chippendale sticky bun bake, and Ohana has this, uh, the pineapple bread. So both of them are really good. It's really the same kind of food. Um, Ohana is a really big restaurant, so you're really, you're, we only saw the characters once come through. But at Garden Grill, they come around again and again and again. So if you want to see them more than once, you will have that option. So I did like Garden Grill. Um, Topolino Terrace is probably on my list to go next because I've not been there since the Riviera opened. So that's probably one that we will try on our next trip. Tusker House is also really good. Obviously, all of these are the ones that have Mickey in them. <laughs> and... um we did do breakfast at 1900 Park Fair, so, um, and it was really good. Um, we enjoyed that, which I love Alice in Wonderland and Winnie the Pooh and all that stuff, so. Um, again, comment below your favorite character dining spot or your favorite character or what's on your bucket list, you know, where do you want to eat next time you go, and, um, I look forward to seeing those and, uh, planning planning the next trip. If you need help planning your trip and you just don't know where to start, um, I am a travel agent that specializes in Disney. So if you need any help, my information is below. And if you like these planning videos, please, you know, like this and consider subscribing to see more. And I'll see you later. Thanks.